This is Tenzel Kim. She was dumped in the countryside as a kitten, and after wandering up to my brother's place on a freezing night looking for some food, she was brought to me. She has a fairly timid personality, and she's an impressive jumper. She loves leaping between any high place around the house. This is Tybalt, Princess of Cats. Tenzel's vet found her in a drainage ditch where she had a crushed pelvis. She's mostly recovered from that, though she can't jump very well, and mainly climbs using her front legs. She's extremely playful, demands attention from me constantly, and mostly enjoys playing fetch with her favorite ball. Tybalt also bullies Tenzel a lot. I'm telling you about my cats because Koneko Monogatari is based on the film Koneko Monogatari. The film, known as The Adventures of Milo and Otis internationally, is infamous for the abhorrent treatment of the animals in it. Now, obviously, the game developers didn't have any hand in that. They got an assignment after the fact, and might have never seen anything more than a completed film. But it's really hard to disassociate the game from the movie. Fortunately, Koneko Monogatari is a truly awful game, so I don't have to think about it that long. An English translation of the title would be Kitten Story, and you're playing as a kitten advancing through 24 stages of platforming. Basically, you're doing a full year, and there's two levels per month. One of the levels takes place during the day, the other takes place at night. The A button jumps, and the B button is an attack of very limited usefulness. The levels are laid out as a forest, every stage is a forest, and you'll find items by bopping the foliage. Jump on it from above, and fruit will fall out, or snowballs in the winter stages. You can collect the fruit to earn an extra life. Pop it from underneath, and something else might fly out. The most common thing you'll spot are eggs. The eggs will fly out of the tree, and if they drop below the branch that they got bopped out of, then they'll break when they land. So you'll have to catch those in the air, but if they land on the same branch, or one nearby that's of similar height, then they'll sit there and let you collect them. Eggs are ammunition, and you attack using them by jumping and hitting the B button. They'll drop the egg right below you. Enemies that have things dropped on them get defeated. That includes the fruit, and even eggs that you didn't catch. The problem with the eggs, though, is that there's hardly any of them in the game. You really have to just dodge everything, since any contact with any animal will kill the kitten instantly. There are a couple of special eggs that you can collect. There's a red egg that's worth some additional points, so you know, a real high priority item there. And there are eggs with letters on them that spell out help. After you collect four of the eggs with letters, a puppy comes out to follow you around and defeat enemies for you. It also has a bad tendency to be kind of useless. The puppy also kills you if it touches you, so it's not really that much of a help. Another thing that you can get out of the branches is milk, and that will make your kitten invulnerable for a short period and you better take advantage of that to get as far forward as you can. All of your enemies in Koneko Monogatari are forest animals, and these just appear wherever. Enemies tend to just spawn in. It's very likely that one will appear right on top of you. Also annoying is how enemies don't move at the same rate as you scroll the screen, so timing your jumps around them is tricky. They also spawn continuously, and in numbers that will keep you constantly dodging. Koneko Monogatari is an unfair game. You're going to die a lot. And that's before you get to the pixel-perfect jumping that occurs later on. Fortunately, there are cheat codes. If you want to continue from the stage where you got a game over, you can hold down B, A, and press Start when it says Game Over. And on the Start screen, not the Title screen, this is what you get after you flip to side B. You can press and hold B, select, and A, and then release B, then press Start, and you'll get 99 lives. You can also save your progress in the game to disk, something that they don't tell you in the manual. On the Game Over screen, you press and hold B, A, and Up, then press Start, and the disk will just turn on, writing a save to the floppy. Then to load that save, on the Start screen, you press and hold B, A, and Down, then press Start. If you can make it far enough in the game, and I couldn't while I was playing, even with the 99 live cheat code, 
There are bosses in the form of a bear that you have to drop eggs on. When you get to those sections, fortunately there's a tree nearby that you can get infinite eggs out of. One nice touch I found in the game was that as you're playing the stage, the sun and moon creep along the sky and the color palette shifts as it gets later on. It's not much, but when you're in a game this annoying, you take what you can get. Koneko Monogatari really wears its Mario influences on its sleeve. The trees are effectively acting as bricks, and you have to strike them to get items to come out. The fruit gives you the same kind of coin collecting, and you can kind of see the same style of platforming. Of course, Koneko Monogatari doesn't have anywhere near the same quality of level design, has absolutely punishing enemy placement, and doesn't offer you a whole lot to do other than desperately try to avoid things. Koneko Monogatari was released almost precisely one year after Super Mario Bros., and the clones are already starting to show up, including some that are very good games. This is just a cheap knockoff, and not even an interesting knockoff.